You know, there's a great new program in our community to help the child uh, in your life get a great start. United Way created it, and it's called Bib to Backpack. That's right, and it's called that because the moments for your child from big bib to backpack make all the difference in getting your child prepared for school and to be successful in life. I had a wonderful opportunity to visit one of the workshops called Play and Learn. I Hi, we're going to go on over to the circle. I kind of tell parents that you are the narrator or you are the tour guide of the world for young children. So you are their first teacher, so they learn from you. So this, these interactions are really great for them because they are watching and learning. And you want them to learn from you. I'm glad to see everyone. All right, everyone, this is Miss Tatia, and Hi. she's going to be here working with us this afternoon, okay? One, two, three, hello to city. We're so glad she came to class. One, two, three. Each time they come to Play and Learn Group, we incorporate singing, we read stories. We will also be doing some counting activities and a lot of parent involvement. Should we go faster? Super speed on Super speed. Here's a test run. When I prepare the lesson plan, I prepare activities that can be easily duplicated at home. You can gather, the, I gather all the materials, they get to make it work here, and then a lot of times I'll tell parents that, hey, you can take some home with you and do again. I encourage them to stay in a hug's reach of their child. A lot of encouraging of parents getting on the floor and playing. Uh, no one's on their cell phone. So it's a one-on-one -on -one time. So what are some of the things that parents expect when they come here? When they are here working with their children, they are also watching other parents interact with their children. So sometimes I have parents that are shy or they don't know what to do. So this is a great opportunity for you to practice here. It helps them to know that they're not in their situation alone, that other parents are going through the same things that they're going through. I have extra good eyes. It is important for parents to do these types of things with their children because it helps them socially and also emotionally when they um, send them off to school. The child is a little bit more adjusted. Uh, they can sit in a circle. They um, are familiar with the letters. What do you feel like are some of the things that he's really learned by coming and being with the group? Being able to interact with other children his age, other peers, um, being able to learn and develop as a kid um, and do things that kids do because at home it's more rigid and no painting and no markers and clean, 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 you know. But here, Ms. Ladon's very laid back and let them explore, let them learn. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> at this stage in their lives between the ages of zero and five is when the brain is making the most connections. Um, so you want to make sure they have a bunch of different places to get information. Here's my masterpiece. I fit right in, as you can see. <laughs> It's a show filled with great artwork. Yes. It's very nice. It. Jenny Callens, who's director of Early Childhood for United Way of Southeast Michigan, is with us. And Sarah Gargasilis, a parent whose uh, children have benefited from United Way programs, joins us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks nice so much to for see having you. being yeah. here. And thank you for letting me crash the class, of that course. That was great. I think you learned a lot. I did. I learned a lot about kids. Let me tell you what I learned. Yeah. There were some songs that we sung in the class mm -hmm. that I sung as a child. Did you? I kid you yep. not. As soon as they said, where is Thumpkin? I was like, wait, <laughs> what? People still sing that? And it's effective, and the kids loved it. Yeah. So why are these kind of games so effective, and why do they work? So if I was singing them, and these mm -hmm. kids are still singing them, mm -hmm. It's got to work. Well, little kids, it's between, before the age of three when a child's brain is really forming the most connections. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those connections are made through the use of language. Mm -hmm. So singing is great. You know, they're hearing words, they're seeing motions, they're hearing a tune. That's really beneficial for brain development. So these songs that we think of, they're just little kid songs. You do the stuff with your right. hands. It's actually a really important way to help kids get yeah. ready to learn. It's a pre-literacy skill. And Sarah, with your kids in particular, we don't want to pry too much, but you tell us what you'd like to share. 
career, you have benefited how from United Way? So I did all everything that I did for my kids. I just wanted to give them every advantage yeah. that I could possibly give them. And there are so many great resources and tools available. So Sarah actually got connected with our work through the ages and stages questionnaire. Okay. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that? Yep. So it's a really quick and easy tool for parents. It's great when you have little kids. Yeah. I just go online. It takes about 10 minutes. You answer some questions about how your kid is doing. I usually do it at nap time. It's mm -hmm. that easy. Mm -hmm. um, and then it gives you such valuable information about how your child is developing. And when you when you ask those questions, could you have some tips. What should we be looking for in our in our little ones? At what ages should they be doing certain things as benchmarks? Right. So some of the examples are at, for a child who's nine months old, can they say three different words? Doesn't okay. mean can they say a sentence. Right. But can they say three different uh -huh. words? Do they know mama and papa and doggy? Right. Maybe. Right. Yeah. When they're 18 months, do they know eight different words? Mm -hmm. By the time they're 36 months, can they start to say a full sentence? Those are the benchmarks that, as a parent, do you know this? You don't right, know this. Right. You know, to us, language seems like a really natural thing. But if you know what to look for, you can help your child get ready. And I think that's what Sarah did. Okay, that is absolutely great. And what if you discover, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. that the kids aren't at that benchmark? Yeah. So that's the other great thing is that it actually connects you to the resources that will help oh, you build okay. those skills that the kids need. Yeah. So the Bib to Backpack initiative, it's a whole bunch of support services mm -hmm. for parents and other adults who take care of little kids. They can go to bibtobackpack.org. Okay. Mm -hmm. They can get connected with the Ages and Stages questionnaire. They can learn about quality child care. They can get connect, connect, connected with 211 if they need other support. Literally on your cell phone, awesome. just dial 211 if you need any help. Absolutely. Really Absolutely. in life, yes. we can yes. get your help. Yes, right. that's what United Way is here for, is to support yeah. the needs of the community. That's awesome. And, and even if you can't help them, you'll connect them with an agency that can offer the service that they we need, will. right? We will. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I had a blast. Yeah, yeah very nice. Yes. Come again.